I'm just walking up part of the West Highland Trail, which I joined at. I'm not going to pronounce this right. Um, out in a fear, out in a fear, something like that. Um, it's close by the this old White's Cottage, just round the bend on the main road for Glencoe. But yeah, this leads up uh, to a high pass. Uh, what's called the Devil's Staircase. There's probably quite a few of those in the country. That's my last day here, so I'm having a last hike and take some photos on the way. Why not? Just down there is the Pass of Glencoe. You should best make out the white cottage down there. You've got the Glencoe Range straighted by the misty clouds in the distance there. Horn if you're watching, I hope you appreciate that. I actually left the West Island Trail there, got to the top of the Devil Staircase. And I saw this um, ridge behind me here. It didn't look too far, and it, and it wasn't too far. It took me about 30 minutes to hike up. So I've got a great view looking both directions down the, the Glencoe Valley there. And it, yeah, it's amazing. It was quite a thick cloud this morning, but it's cleared up now. There's actually some blue sky up there. So I'm gonna slowly make my way down and take some photos as I go and maybe a bit of time lapse and I'll see what I can get.
too bad that hill. I'm not sure which mountain it was. Um, one of the Glencoe Mountains on the east side of the Glencoe range. It's uh, a lot of blue sky up there now. The weather's completely changed. Uh, as it often does in Glencoe, you never know what weather you're going to get. More often than not, you get several uh, different ty types of weather in one day. I actually think this is the sunniest day I've had over the two weeks I've been here. Which is quite amazing. Um, the weather hasn't been too bad. I mean, it hasn't been raining consistently. We had a few showers, but nothing really major. But it's been um, rolling in cloud and um, sort of misty skies. And we've got the cloud uh, weaving its way over the tops of the mountains. So it's been very atmospheric and great for photography. So actually, now the, the sky's clearing and there's blue sky up there. I've actually stopped taking photographs. Yeah, us photographers are a strange lot. We love moody, stormy weather. Just amazing, amazing scenes here. Um, I've just come back in the car because I'm right by the road and it's really noisy. But I must have got about 50 shots there and some video. Just just watching the the clouds roll over, sort of drape themselves around the peaks of the mountains. And the, the, the scenes are constantly changing so you can um, discover lots of different compositions minute by minute. 